Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome back to another Cypher guide. This time we're gonna be doing it on the map split, as many requested from my stream. So let's just get straight into the video, because this is one of like... Like I have a lot of favorite maps, I know I keep saying that, but this map, especially like on the B site. So let's just start here on, on B site, because B site is really, really OP when you hold it with Cypher. So what you're gonna do is you just come to heaven, you stand anywhere here, you take out your cam and you look somewhere up there. You see until it turns blue and you put your cam. This cam is good because you can see their, when they walk in from, from B main, you can see their footsteps here, but they cannot see the camera. If you're against a cypher man and he hears and he knows that you're playing B site, he's just going to crouch. He can crouch here like this and kill it. But if, he's, if they're standing here, you see, you can see half of their body, but they cannot see the camera. So it's pretty OP to get early info. So what you do when you have your cam up there is you come here. Uh, if 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 you guys are watching and you're still trying to main cipher, you always take a look at the opponents if they have sky or rays or uh, like anything that would go on the ground. So if they have sky or rays, if they have rays, you can just put the tripwire a little bit up so the boom. If he boom bots, it won't hit the trap. If they have sky, you just put it head level. You stand and you put it on your head. So when the enemy runs in, it will just catch their head. Sometimes, if Sky is smart, uh, he he can hear the trap and just jump jump it with the dog. Uh, and if there's a, a Sova drone, it might be annoying sometimes because if he knows your trap is here, he will just keep killing your traps. That's why I usually put double traps. I'll put a trap up here and a trap down here, like this. And I'll put a double one way up here. So that's a double one way. So you just stand backside here, you play in your cam. Usually when I play in this spot, like I'm, uh, people call me a little bit nerdy for doing this. I play with an Odin. So if they line up, you would kill them in, in flash of an eye. So what you do is just stand here, you hold your cam. With your cam also, you can see if your teammate dies here, you can see if they push from heaven or main. So just put it in the middle so you can see both sides. And you just wait till the enemy the enemy will walk here. Do not tag them. Do not let them know that you see them. They're going to be maybe lurking. So here. they'll walk slowly like this. Once they get to the mid side. Cage triggered. Open cage and... Boom. That's one way to tell the enemy. So you put double cage just in case you just kill one. And the other team will be like, okay, one way is gone. Let's rush them. So they will think the other smoke, the other cage is maybe somewhere on the side. So... Oh, psych. Another one way and you, you can get, get get more kills. Sage, you. you're full. Can you drop? Peek, peek. <laughs> no, bro, bro. Oh, nice. Nice. If they come in, they die, bro. <laughs> Wait, what's gonna break? Nice. Oh, Peace. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Clip. So, people actually get confused with putting this one way. Let me put uh, like a normal cross here so. You guys can get it. Wait. I have another crosshair here. Okay. You, most of you use the cross. The cross crosshair. Okay. So what you do is you come to the middle of this door. Hug it. And you look. You see like the, the line. It's There's two brown. There's two brown woods. One is dark brown. One is light brown. You line it up in the middle. Oops. I failed it. A little bit to the right. There you go. So you just put the line on the second the second dark brown, you just put the, the line of the crosshair right in the middle. Uh, if you move back, it's going to be a bit to the back. If you move forward, it's going to be a bit forward. But it, would, it wouldn't matter much because it's still, you know, it covers most of it. And what you need is just uh, to see their foot. So it, it won't matter if it's to the right or to the left. So let me, let me do it one more time so you guys can get it. You hug the wall, you put the cross in the middle of the wood. Boom, one way. So that's one setup uh, I would do. If they usually know about my, my like two double double tripwire and double cage, I would like try to change it up a little bit because sometimes they would, if they know that you're playing holding beam and really nice, they will try to push heaven. 
So what you do, what would you do in heaven is you keep the camera as it is, unless they know the camera. I'll show you the camera later, so let's just focus on the trap first. You put a trip here like this. If an enemy comes and like jumps, they would get hanged in the air with it. I don't use this a lot because to be honest in high elo, people don't just come in and, and jump right off here. They will come here and look for you from rafters and jump on box and jump down. But yeah, you can put another trip here for people who would walk, actually walk on, on rafters. So if they walk on rafters and they get caught, you're yeah. playing backside, you can just peek kill. You can put a cage a cage here for protection. So when they peek, you cage just open three. cage and you kill them. They, they have no angle in you to kill you. Another trip is uh, you can put a trip here. There's a lot of basic trips in, in heaven. But usually if you have a sage in the enemy or a viper, they can hold mid pretty well. But if you don't have and your teammates ask you to, you just try to be smart with your traps and place it on where you expect them to rush. So you can put a trip here. So this one they can't jump it. If you want to play sight alone and leave heaven open and you'll have another teammate yeah. playing here. So let your teammate play in vents and you tell them to don't to not care about heaven because you have a camera that can see if people cross and you have a trip that they cannot jump it or crouch it. Anyways, that's one trip. Uh, that's for heaven mostly. But if you're playing sight and you want to change up your trips, you can you can actually not put a trip in main and put a trip right here. And you can play box and you can put a trip here as well. Cage here and a cage here. And you can play just here in this box because if they hit the trip wire and open cage, you can either pick them or you can you can wall bag them because this 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 box is wall bangable. And if if they're rushing both sides and you see on the camera they're rushing both sides, what you do is you open this cage, you fall back to CT. Hoping someone would hit this would hit this tripwire, and if they hit it, you just peek kill, and you fall back and wait for your teammates to come and retake together. So, wait, what else? What else? I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, another tripwire. Is you can put a trip here, and you can put a trip here. This tripwire is like the least expected tripwire. You can put it this way, so it's much easier. Okay. Why this tripwire? Because if they have an enemy sage. The enemy sage would come and wall here, and when they wall here, we, 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 you would always have an enemy who would want to peek and kill who's holding heaven from your teammate. So when they come here, they will go like this, jumping on the box, try to shoot, and they will come down. If they come down, they hit the tripwire. And if you're sitting in backside heaven, the first one who would come in, you don't have to peek them to kill them. You can actually just wall bang them with the Odin. This wall is wall bangable. That's like the easiest skill you can get. So the first kill he would get, then the the enemy teammates would get scared, so they would just hug the wall to come in and try to surprise you. So when he comes and hugs the wall, he would hit this tripwire and boom, another easy kill. So that's actually a good way to hold B site. There is a couple of ways you can utilize your cam on on A site. First is this one that I taught you a while ago. Second, if you don't, if you want you to use your camera for retake, you use this cam. You can see the whole site. Once they come in and plant, you can see if they're playing backside, if they play pillar, if they're playing box. You know, you can see you can get a lot of info with this cam. If they know about the position of this cam, you can change it. To if if they get info about like the the cam up here, you can actually change the cam position and put it somewhere here. To jump on this box, I think. Yeah. yeah. This cam. Uh, I don't think they, they might see it actually when they run in. You see, like, if they're looking straight in, they don't see it. Unless they hear it and look up, they would they would shoot it. So yeah, that's a couple of ways to utilize your cam on B site. Now let's uh, get to A site. Okay, so on A site, uh, uh, putting your cam here, you put your cam here to hold two angles at the same time. So you can actually solo, you can solo A uh, from uh, just using your camera. So you come on... on rafters and you put you jump and you put your cam up there with this cam you can hold here and you can hold here but you cannot hold vents so if if you see an enemy cross from from a main immediately inform your teammate playing yeah. vents tell him one entered ramps so he would know and he would just yeah. wait down here for him and the other teammate yeah. would hold would hold mid so that's an easy way to actually kill the guy who would lurk from the enemy team if the enemy doesn't go Vents and he goes to heaven and he complete he complete like 
shift walking lurking here you can actually because if you put your cam up there you would be playing somewhere in elbow so what you do is you you shift walk back there just make sure that he crossed you slowly go here if you can catch him while if he comes out most probably they will check left first not right because they, they they don't know that they think that you don't know that you they crossed. I don't know if I said it right, but anyways. In the beginning. So you, if either you, if you came here first, you pick him first. If not, you just wait here for him, around the corner. If he comes out, he will not check. He will not come out checking the angle like this because he will think like you're playing sight or hell or something. So he will just come out looking there, so you can get an easy kill on him. And for the trip wires, you can put a uh, double trip in A. Again, if there's sky or raising the enemy, you guys not to know what to do. You can put one trip here and one trip here, and a cage in the middle. And you can play you either play elbow or you can play back uh, back uh, CT. I mean, sorry. So yeah, you just wait for them to hit the trip, cage up, easy kills. They will think there's the normal trip wires, so the other teammates would rush in. They will hit another trap. You can put another cage. I usually don't utilize my second cage in in A site because, like, when the enemy pushes in, they smoke to two places. They smoke heaven and they smoke they smoke uh, screens. So you can take advantage of their smoke and just play off their smokes if you don't want to utilize your second cage. You already have one cage there, and the enemy smoke here. So if they hit a trap, you can just shoot them through the through the smokes. Uh, that's one way to put the traps. Another way is you can put one trip wire here. And one trip here. And you can put a cage here. And you need to have an enemy playing off heaven with you. So if the enemy, you play sight, you have cam, you see the enemy pushed down. Some enemies will push here. If you if they push this side, you just have to fight them. You either fight them or you open your cage and you hide in the cage, hoping someone would hit the trip from here. You get the kill, then you fight the guy backside. And if they push there, if the enemy push down and they push hell, you open cage and you pick. Or, you can put a one way here. There's a one way up here you can put it to kill the enemy there. But it's kinda hard in high elo since when the enemy pushes, they do not just stand here, they immediately rush to side. So to do the one way here, there, there's a line you would see, you see this line here? You just hug this line, look in the middle, and you look straight up in there. There you have a one way there. So you can play off this angle, and if the enemy came and they hit the tripwire, you can see their foot. Even you can stand at the back here and shoot them. I don't use this uh, cage a lot on my on my on my stream because uh, I don't know it doesn't work with me a lot of the time. What usually works is the double trip. I always love double tripping one trip here and one trip here. But yeah, anyways, moving on. If you're that kind of guy who likes to play site, you can put double trip site here. Double trips, cage, and cage. And either here, you can play actually with a judge, it would be much more OP, since it's all close range and you just need one bullet to kill them. So if they hit they hit the tripwire, boom, then here, boom. Then if there's extra teammates, you know what to do, you just fight them. But like, using Cypher, getting one or two kills when the enemy pushes, actually helps your team to retake. It, it lessens the, the 5v5 fight, it makes it 4v3 if you die, or 4v2 if you can kill 3. So yeah, this is one way to put a trip, but uh, actually putting the trips on site is kind of, sometimes it's dangerous, especially if you have an enemy raise, because if you have an enemy raise, uh, he would boom bot, it would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and sometimes it gets to site if he boom bots too late, and sometimes raise would come in and just yeah. nade this part here, so it would bounce back, and if it bounces back site yeah. here, it would destroy the trip wire here and the trip wire here. That's why I prefer using my tripwires on entrance, so you can get easy kills. Anyways, uh, another tripwire is you can put one tripwire on entrance, and one tripwire here. For people who would love to push and camp this yeah. angle here, and wait for the enemy to push, so you can actually kill them. Uh, okay, another trips in heaven. You can put a trip in heaven. This way. But you be careful of this trip, because this trip, if there's someone lurking, it happened not to me, but like the enemy cipher put this trip, I can actually lurk vents with it. Because in the minimap, it shows there's a trip here, but the, uh, but your teammates wouldn't know if it's actually on the door or this trip, so you can lurk vents and kill the guy. 
So it's much better to put the trip here, just crouch. That's, uh, like, it's completely blocked. If the only way for the enemy to go in is just to either Euro TP, Omen TP, but you can hear it off-site, or they should destroy it. Okay, so that's one trip. Uh, if you're playing in vents and you let your team play in A, you put a trip for them. And you put one trip here. And you play vents. So if, you're t if your teammate dies uh, and they push vents, you would know if they destroy the trip where if you're holding mid. Uh, okay, let's get to the cameras. There's uh, there's this camera, and you can put a cam there. You see the enemy? It's behind the glass. It's kind of behind the glass, so the enemy actually they would see it, but it would be a little bit dimmed. And you see, I cannot actually get it back. Okay, there we go. And you can put a cam here, here for early info for people who love to get early info. Once the wall goes down, you jump on the box. You can see if they if they go and aim in, and another camera is uh, for early info as well. It's up here. Yeah. I don't put this cam a lot, so I I kind of struggle putting it. There we go. You just have to keep jumping and going back, jumping and going back. This cam is nice because you see you can see, yeah. aim in. You can like instantly, if, especially in pistol rounds. This camera is so, so OP, so you would let your teammates rotate faster. You just put the cam up there. And if you see like 3-4 there, you just tell your teammates it's like, okay, it's 100% A, so your teammates will rotate. Okay, so that's for defense. Let's get to attack and I'll tell you guys how to lurk on this map. Okay, so we're in attack right now. I'll show you guys how to start off the round with the pistol round and moving on to the succeeding routes to... in order on how to lurk and how to, ma to know when to lurk and when not to lurk. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say your first round, you guys are going B side. So what you want to do is you put anti-flank. Uh, usually when I see from the enemy cipher, when uh, when I'm flanking or something, they put the tripwire here. Like this tripwire is complete, completely useless. Like yeah, they would hear you jump because you can just simply jump the boxes and go and boom, you crossed it. So what you do is you put your tripwire on here. Hello, hello? Boom, there we go. Okay. So this trip where they cannot they cannot jump it at all. Like if they jump they get hit on the they get hit from the trip wire. So yeah, this is for anti flank or if you wanna play more safe you can just put it here. But this trip wire is dangerous because if you're in a pistol round and they're flanking and you're playing main, you see like the enemy can kill if there's someone playing B main. So it's much better if you put it here because they cannot peek anything if your teammates are playing yeah back garage or something so yeah that's one way to put an anti-flank in, in b if you like to put your uh, your trips uh, post plant you can wait for your teammates to plant always tell your teammates to plant a spike here I have dropped the spike. and you put a trip wire here and you put your cam on the spike and you play garage so you have, if you have two trips, you have one anti-flank, one post uh, post plant, and you just play, play on on side on on garage, and you just wait for your for the wait for the tap, and usually tell your teammates to play, you know, play safe, either they play back back B or they play garage with you. So when they when they tap the bomb, you just open cam and see if it's an actual defuse or not. If it's not an actual defuse, you can just tag him off the cam. It makes the enemy panic in this kind of situations. They don't know if you're gonna push them or if you're playing post. So utilizing the cam and putting it down on the bomb, especially in the back here, because this plant, when someone will I defuse, the spike. they won't look to the wall, they will look this way. So when you attack them, they can't actually know where the cam is, unless they're so precise and they hear it properly, it's behind them. So yeah. Uh, that's one way to play off, uh, off A, off B sides, I'm sorry. So let's, uh, let's go to mid. So if you guys are pushing mid, uh, usually try not to let your teammates utilize their smokes. Y you be the one to smoke, uh, except if they have if they have an operator. They, you have to s you have to let your smoker smoke this side. But if they usually wall it, the enemy would wall it. You'd break the wall and cage cage this side. Caging here is more important than smoke, because if someone is playing a shotgun like a, a judge or something, and he wanna rush out to kill you guys, you would hear him. If he comes, if he hits the wall, you would know there is someone here. So you would just spray, you know, like I usually do that. 
you spray and pray and you get like one one kill like whoever is playing here if he push if he hits the cage you would kill him so yeah if you're pushing mid you always put a trip you put a trip and see where for just in case someone is flanking from a main then you go heaven and the usual you put uh, either you put your enter flank uh, i mean the post plant down there or you put your post plant here like try to be fast with your teammates once you go and you, you don't focus on getting kills focus on securing their way in like i usually play cypher as an initiator when i go with my teammates sometimes as a duelist i would enter with my cages but if i have good duelists on my team i would play as an initi initiator with them and try to protect them from enemy pushing them so we're rushing site you just come out put a trip cage open it rush down cage i trip cage open it and you plant site uh, that's that's a really good way of of pushing in. You block too many angles for your teammates. You make more space for your teammates. So it would actually work out pretty well. Uh, okay, now let's uh, let's put uh, anti flanks of A side. Okay, so you would come on this box. You jump on it. You look up here. You place your cam. This cam gives you early info, especially if there's someone running. Yeah like going crossing sites, like they, they change their mind or if there's someone playing yeah. screens, you would actually see them. Or if there is an enemy cypher, you could see their cam. Yeah. If they put their cam up here or if they put their cam in here. in screens, you would see their cam. You would get good info there. Uh, that's if you're pushing with your teammate and if you're lurking, you always put your cam here on A side. An anti-flank, you put an anti-flank like this. And once you, if you're pushing in with your team, uh, be the one to actually block this angle, so... Cage trigger. Cage it and you can rush in. Okay, so if you're pushing out with your teammates, you can actually line up a cage uh, yeah. for ramps to protect your teammates. So you come on the box, you stand on the ledge, and you look up there between the green, the second green thing up there, down here, and you jump cage. Cage trigger. And you open it. It would it would block people from if there's an operator up there or someone holding this angle, it would block them. So you can just rush to the side together. Uh, okay, so let's say you want to lurk. You're actually solo lurking in A. Your teammates are playing mid B and you're lurking A, so you put your cam, your trip, you open, you can actually open your cam, but if you open your cam and someone hear you, it's going to be hard to lurk. If you don't open your cam and you just leave it, you don't even have a cam up there, you put a trip and you want to lurk. So I usually wait, like wait for like 10 to 15 seconds, hear what's happening on the site, see if your teammates are being uh, aggressive and... Uh, making the enemy rotate from A, so you play on the footsteps. Sometimes in the earlier rounds, if you have an enemy raised, they would like to farm the orbs. So you wait here and wait for them to push to get the orb. Once they get the orb, boom, free kill. If no one pushes and you think it's safe, you just push slowly. But do not push with your knife out, please. You always push with your gun out, expecting maybe someone is in this close corner. So how you clear it, you come out, you jiggle here, then you jiggle up there, then slowly you push here. All that with shift key, guys. Do not make a footstep on A side. Because if you make footstep, then there might be people on site you don't know. So when you come here, if they don't have a killjoy, sometimes killjoy puts a turret here, a turret there, a turret here. If there is no, if you're playing against a cypher or no sentient enemy team, you can just jiggle it slowly, slowly, slowly. Do not go side, because going side is pretty dangerous. You can just go heaven. You can check this angle. You go in. You check this angle. You come here. You check this angle, sometimes people stand here, like in this corner, waiting. Then you come out, usually if there's someone here, he wouldn't be looking, man, he would be looking downside. So you clear it, and do not go CT, you go ramps, if your teammates are fighting someone in ramps. You go ramps slowly, and you come up and you kill him. That's a free way to get kills on uh, in vents. And from there, you don't let your team go B, you come back and just make footstep, straight rush A. Cage, cage and trip. Then a Cajun trip. That's if you did if you didn't put an anti-flank at the back. Cajun trip. And you can put your cam up here. From here you can hear people running from here. like this. You can hear people from their base. So you can give info for your teammate. Okay, so that's one uh, one way to lurk on A site. If you wanna post plant, you can when you come in, you can just put a trip and cage here. And you have an anti-flank, so that's it. And your cam, you can place it up here. You can see people from main and people from heaven if they drop. Or this side will most be, mostly be covered with, with your trip and cage. So if someone breaks a trip, cage it. Or if someone hits the trip, you come out and kill them. 
Okay, now let's go to lurking on B side. Okay, so on B side, you're gonna lurk B side. Your teammates are all playing A. You're playing mid and B alone, and you should find a way to lurk it. Actually, lurking doesn't just happen. You don't just lurk like that, like lurk because you want to lurk. You lurk. Uh, it's m m much better to lurk on like the fourth or fifth round after you know how the enemy plays where where do they position themselves if you can memorize actually where they play uh, let's say you have a uh, two duelist one initiator one senti and a healer most probably like sage so you always know that sage plays mid sage plays mid to wall the senti will be most probably a or b you always coordinate with your team let them know let your team tell you where the sentinel is because if the sentinel is in B, it's going to be hard for you to lurk. Uh, you need to outplay them, but it's going to be hard as it's Cypher or Killjoy because the, those, those, especially those two trappers, it's, it's, they can get easy info on the enemy. So if the enemy is playing A and you're going to lurk B, it's going to be really easy for you to lurk. Okay, so you put an anti-flank here if you're going to lurk B. But if you're going to lurk mid, you put an anti-flank here. If you're gonna go mid, so okay, let's say we're gonna go mid first, lurk mid. So you know that Sage walls, so you just wait here a couple of seconds because sometimes Sage would like jump peek the wall. You wait, play on footstep, see what's happening, hear what's happening in heaven. Then you come closely to the wall. If it's walled, you come closely and wait for the wall to break. If the wall breaks, sometimes enemy would be waiting here, waiting here, waiting here. So what would you do is you wait down here. Crouch it and wait for the wall to break, then listen to the footstep, what's happening. And try to always let your teammates, like, not commit, but commit A. Like, act like they're committing. If they can commit it, it's good. If they can't, then at least it would make people on the other side rotate. I can get info on them. So if, if the wall breaks and you hear them go go to vents, you tell your teammates immediately, rotate B, rotate B. You're not. You're still not sure though if there is one B. You tell them rotate B. Maybe there is one B, but I'll cut the rotation in vents. So once you go vents, if you can get one pick, that's good. If they don't come vents and they go CT, you tell your team as they're rotating back to B. You can go back to A, but let them go back A with shift walk, and you cut the rotation of the enemy from from the base. But if the sentinel is playing on A side and it's killjoy, let's say, so you put a trip there, a cage, you close it. That's one way to secure your back that you're covered. Then when your teammates come, you push together and you try to kill kill Joy. So if you're gonna push mid, uh, if you're gonna push, I mean lurk B. Lurking B is fun. Uh, is actually fun for me, especially if there is an enemy enemy sentinel. You know, cause y you have to diff the enemy, man. You have to prove to the enemy that you're better than them. So you put an anti flank here. Okay, let's let's say you're gonna lurk B. So you come uh, when the wall goes down. If if you're having a good and precise aim day, you just wait for the enemy and try to one-tap them. So sometimes people like ego peek here. If they don't peek it, and uh, if you if you don't have an aim day, if it's it's, it's your bad day and you're play or you you wanna play it safe, you wanna win it, you just wait for the enemy to push. Or if they get the orb, you go and peek them. If no one pushes or gets orb or does nothing, you go slowly here, and you, you hug the wall and try to listen. For what's happening outside. If, if it's a killjoy, if there's a killjoy, you can hear the trip, the traps. I mean the, what do you call it? The alarm bot. I'm speaking too fast. Okay, so if you're going B side, you can hear the, you can hear the. If there's a turret here, you can hear. If there's an alarm bot, you can hear it. If it's a cipher, always look up there. Must be a camera. If there's a camera, then try not to force it, cause you get outplayed. It's gonna be hard to, to push B. If there's cipher, like there's gonna be traps. You can break it. But he either picks you from here or picks you from here and someone's gonna be helping him ha heaven, so just don't do it. You can just get info and fall back. But if there is no sentinels at all, if you, the, the faster you rush B site, the less expected it is. Especially in the in the in like in the first ten seconds. You just come out. But let your teammates on the other side push fast, so you just come out here. Always shift walk. Like my, my shift key is erased from lurking to be honest. So you come in fast. They won't be actually looking man, because they'll be like, oh, it's the first 10 seconds. No no one crazy would do that. So you just come in, hug this wall. Let's hope Sage is holding mid. And the other guy is playing, so he's probably playing back here or here. You can just kill him. Then at that time, make footstep, like run here. So it would confuse people up there and it would confuse people there. And it will help your teammate push A site. Your teammate doesn't have to rotate back to B at that time. So yeah, 
there's a lot of ways actually you guys can lurk on this map it's it's much i mean it's it's all up to you it's all up to your gameplay it's all it's all up to how you utilize your utilities how you think how how you think you can out outplay the enemy so lurking is an like it's a let's say it's a freelance everyone can lurk on their own way i'm just sharing my 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 sp my own perspective on how i lurk on this map since a lot of you requested it but yeah i think this will be all for this map uh, tell me if I missed anything in the comments guys and I'll see you in another tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Just make sure you guys like, subscribe, all the good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.